So what I have the pleasure of introducing today, and of course Holy Stone sent this out to me to try out, is the Holy Stone Remote ID module. Now this module is actually made mostly for use with Holy Stone drones that are greater than 249 grams, and that way you can actually be able to fly them within FAA regulations. But you can also use this little remote ID module for other aircraft as well, which I'll be using it for many of my fixed wing that I'll be flying at our flying site until at least it's designated a free up or if I fly something that's larger than 249 grams anywhere else, I'll be using this guy for it. So what comes in the box is the remote ID module itself. On this side is your serial number and then you also have your USB-C connection here to charge it up. It does not come with its own charging cable. You can use any USB-C charging cable to charge this guy up. It takes about an hour and a half to charge up and will give you a full five hours of use once you have it charged. Turning it on is very easy. Hold the button down for two seconds. If you want to turn it off, hold the button down for two seconds and it completely turns the module off. So let me demonstrate for you what it looks like in the app real quick. So this is the app. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on the module by holding it down. While it's beeping fast, you're gonna tap it again and you have both green lights and then you hit plus. It's gonna actually search for your device and has found it. You'll tap on the device by the serial number in case you have multiple devices on at the same time. And there you have your information. We have the remote ID series number, which is the serial number of the remote ID module. Then you have operator ID. And that's mandatory for EU pilots. What I would suggest doing in here, which I haven't done yet, is put in your, put in your FAA recreational flyer certificate number in there. And then model ID, I just put Altone RC because I'll be, for recreational purposes, I will be using it with multiple aircraft. Um, the weight, so the weight of the aircraft, I do not have actually set up in here either because the weights could change and you can change that information out as you go out to fly. And then it has a class. I've actually already done the initial setup. If you want to change your settings every time you go out to fly a different aircraft so you can put the accurate weight in for that particular aircraft, then you'll just go down to delete. So you, if you tap on delete, It'll ask you if you're sure that you want to delete, you can click OK. And so now I've deleted everything and I want to go in and cha make changes. We're going to hit save there and then successfully save. Please restart the device. After restart, it will enter broadcasting mode. So you just hit confirm here. Then you go back to the device, hold the button down for two seconds to turn it off. And then hold it down again, two seconds, turn it back on. It's going to bleep, beep fast because it's waiting to see if you're going to go back into the app. And if not, it's going to start beeping slow, which means it is now broadcasting the correct information as you have it set up in here, as well as the additional information for location and all of that that is required by the FAA in the U.S. This little module is approved by the FAA, and I'm really surprised that there's not more people talking about this awesome little device. So thanks for so much for checking this out with me. I'm going to get out and use it myself and even get some additional experience with the use of this guy and hopefully be able to share some of that with you in the future. Have an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.